Hey everyone and welcome to the den. Um, what can I get for a hundred dollars at the grocery store? Well now it would be less than a week ago that's for sure. We are seeing some serious serious inflation and it's affecting everything that we do. Um, everything. Gas prices, diesel prices, if you see those diesel prices they are insane and diesel fuel affects everything. A lot of stuff is not from this country. So to get those products here, even that stuff that comes from this country, it has to be trucked or it has to be on a train line. It has to come from a boat and all of these take diesel fuel. So we are seeing increases across the board and it's, I know for me, I have some anxiety, a little bit of sleepless nights worrying about how long this is going to last. Uh, will we see an end to this? So Today, I am going to go over with you a prepper pantry list or a stockpile list, whatever you wish to call it, that's gonna cost you about a hundred bucks. And if that's too much for you, then by all means, you can split that up. You don't have to, you don't even have to buy anything. You know, you can do what you wanna do. This is just here for you to start a foundational, very foundational pantry stock, if you will. Now, only you know your family, so only you know your budget. With that, we know that you can, you're going to have, to, maybe you don't like rice. Maybe you don't like this or that on this list. So you can alter it in any way you want to. You know, the price will fluctuate for whatever you need. Um, but this is what I, what I put in my pantry. All these items are things that I would have in my pantry at any given time because this is my foundational type of pantry needs. So before we get into the first item, I just want to do a little bit of a shameless plug here and ask you to subscribe. If this is your first time watching my videos, then um, you like this kind of content, you maybe connect with me. YouTube is one of those places where you could watch 10 different videos about the same topic and you're only going to connect with a few of those people because for some reason that's just how humans are, right? We just connect with certain people. So if you feel like you're connected with me, then please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it so much. It helps my channel grow. Your comments help my channel grow. Your likes, all of that combined helps my channel grow. And I am super, super grateful, genuinely grateful. So, Thank you if you're already subscribed and coming back to watch more. Thank you. So that's my shameless plug. Now let's get into the video. one on my list if I, this list is going to be based off of mostly Sam's Club but I also did the research end of things and looked at Walmart too if you're not a member of Sam's Club that's okay you can get the stuff the same stuff at Walmart and you can go there you don't have to have a membership obviously I don't shop at Costco uh, I know they have different things and people really like Costco but I cannot get over the sheer amount of people that shop at Costco and I'm just not doing it like Sam's Club is busy enough Costco is next level so if you shop there I'm sure you could probably find similar items I didn't even look at Costco but I don't shop there so I just wouldn't so maybe you know someone who has a Sam's Club membership and you can meet them there and they can you know share their membership with you for the day or you could just go to Walmart so a lot of the stuff actually on this list was cheaper at Walmart only a few things were more so you can still get this stuff at Walmart and it's going to be a pretty comparable price. All right. So first thing, flour, 25 pound bag of flour at Sam's Club is $7.93. So you can get the 25 pound bag for seven, almost eight bucks, five pounds or five, five pound bags of the same type of flour, all purpose flour from Walmart would be around $7 and 80 cents. You're coming in at like three cents cheaper. That's our first one, 25 pounds of flour. Next one on the list is 10 pounds of sugar from 
Sam's Club is $5.28. You can get a 10 pound bag of sugar at Walmart right now for $3.92. Sugar is necessary in a lot of different recipes. It's also good for having on hand if you needed like an electrolyte kind of booster, you know, you add a little sugar, a little salt. There's a recipe for that uh, to make like your own type of Gatorade and, and just in baking and things and to sweeten things up, make them more palatable. Uh, sugar is good to have on hand. Now, if you just are a sugar-free family, that's great. Awesome. Um, but that is something that I keep on hand. Next thing I would buy at Sam's Club would be two pounds of yeast. And that yeast at Sam's Club comes in like these, uh, it's like a vacuum packed like little bag and it's $4.98. Now, I really like the Fleischmann, the, I think it's Fleischmann's. Um, they have like a little brown canister. I keep mine in the fridge and uh, I just refill that with the stuff from Sam's Club. But that little jar from Walmart, I think it's like a four ounce jar and it's like five bucks. So you can definitely get more yeast from Sam's for a better price, uh, but it's still available at Walmart as well. Now, if you're not planning on making bread, then you don't have a need for your yeast. But uh, if you're going to be in a situation, like if we're in a situation where like we're making everything and every meal, then bread is definitely a good starting point or a filler for a lot and it for a lot of meals. And it doesn't, re it's time consuming, but you can find breads that are quicker to make. And some of those don't even require yeast. So keep that in mind. It can be a really good thing to have on hand if you're making every meal and it can be like bread can be a filler too. You know, you can like dip your bread in your chili or whatever soup or whatever you're making. Okay. So the next thing I would buy is dry beans. Yes, dry beans, because it is really great to have on hand. Beans are an excellent source of fiber. They're, uh, they're an excellent source of protein. They, can be added as a filler. Like if maybe you don't, can't get your hands on, you know, meat, like animal proteins, then beans are a really good choice. If you're a vegetarian, you know, beans are a great choice, but sometimes people just can't eat beans, um, because you know, they're hard on their digestive tract. But if you're canning your own beans, you know, that hard soak and then the hard boil before you can them can reduce some of that. So keep that in mind too. And if you haven't watched my canning beans recipes, you should. I'll put a link to them. I buy the 12 pound bag of pinto beans. I've also bought a 12 pound bag of dry black beans from Sam's Club. I have not seen the black beans in stock for some time now, uh, but the 12 pound bag of pinto beans is 1037 at Sam's Club. For an eight pound bag at Walmart, it was 598. Cheaper per pound at Walmart. So like I said, beans can stretch a meal. They can make you know, they can replace your meat if you have to. If you want to make tacos, if you want to do black bean tacos, I've done those before. They're not bad. Um, you just make it kind of the same way, same seasonings that you would in your ground beef. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, it can stretch your chili too. I have a video on chili beans and then maybe I'll do a video also on canning chili itself. But right now, let's get back to this one. So number five, we're coming in at 25 pounds of rice. Yes, rice, of course rice. Now, if your family doesn't like rice, you don't eat rice, you could exchange this with pasta or any other type of grain that you prefer. But I think rice is an excellent choice for any pantry, as long as you like to eat it, because you can store 25 pounds of rice and after you've made like a cup of rice turns into two cups of rice, right? As you cook it. So it's like that 25 pound bag is a big bag of rice. And you know that that's going to be double the amount once it's cooked. So that's a lot, a lot of food. And it's, it's really good for just any, any meal. I swear you can use rice in just about any meal. We eat our rice, our chili over rice. I add rice to my chicken soup base. Uh, another canning video that I've done. And that's an excellent recipe. I can't tell you, I that stuff is worth its weight in gold. It's even better than my green chicken chili. Um, that video is pretty popular, but I'm telling you the chicken soup base, if you're watching this and you've watched that, the chicken soup base is better than the white chili. I love white chili, but I love white chili fresh. I actually prefer to make my white chili fresh over canned, um, but, I can put rice in just about anything. But you can use your leftover rice for fried rice. I mean, it's just, there's so many things that you can do with rice. My pantry would be 
nothing without rice. So 25 pounds, a 25 pound bag is 9.82, or you can get 20 pounds at Walmart for 8.98. So next on my list, I would say to get four pounds of salt. It's $1.38. That used to be like 90 something cents at Sam's. Uh, but anyway, four pounds of salt, $1.38. You can get a 26 ounce like the little round canister at Walmart for 48 cents. So salt is necessary. It's an essential mineral that we need in our bodies as long as we're getting the iodized. And it's necessary. It makes things more palatable. You need it in some baking recipes. Um, it's important to have, especially like right now in an American diet, we get plenty of salt. We get plenty of salt. So we're not looking for additional salt. But if we were in a situation where, again, we were looking at, and God forbid this ever happened, um, if we were looking at having to cook all of our own foods and provide for ourselves, then we need some salt in our diet a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. Um, so that is necessary and it's cheap. You know, you don't, it's not gonna cost you a ton of money, but to have it on hand, it's a good idea. All right, so next on my list, I would say peanut butter. Six pounds of peanut butter at Sam's. I like Jif, that's what we eat. Get whatever you like, but the Jif is 9.77, and the Great Value brand, you can get a 40 ounce for 3.47. Maybe you have peanut allergies and that's on a definite no. So I would replace that with maybe some canned tuna or maybe some canned chicken that you can make like a chicken salad with, but something in the idea of like a lunch, something for lunch, right? You want some variation, but like I said, this is a very foundational list. So peanut butter is on that. You can switch it around how you need to. Next on my list is vegetable oil. You can use any type of oil you like. Uh, the six quarts of vegetable oil at Sam's Club is $12.48. And from Walmart, a gallon is $7.82. It actually ends up being cheaper at Walmart. So it's necessary for cooking a lot of things, um, keeping your cast iron skillet seasoned. I use I use the spray in mine, but if I'm going to completely re-season my cast iron, um, I would need some vegetable oil. Um, next, I would have oats. 10 pounds of oats from Sam's is 10.22, and that's the quick oats. That's the oats that I prefer. And then a 42 ounce at Walmart is 414. And that's the, I think that's the Quaker oat brand too. I looked that up. Um, it's a very versatile food, and it's one of those that offers a lot of nutrition and it's not super expensive. So we keep, I keep oats, I keep oats in my Mylar for long-term storage that I'm not gonna touch until I think it's gonna expire or I can just rotate it out. Um, but, you know, put a handful of fresh berries from the garden in there with a little cinnamon and a, a little sugar if you want, a little honey. You can really make your oatmeal more palatable uh, with just a, a few ingredients, a few extra ingredients, and ingredients that you're gonna find on this list, even if you just used cinnamon and sugar, and yes, cinnamon is coming up. You can make it taste really, really good, in my opinion, but if you don't like oats, then again, choose something that's more fitting for your family. Next on my list, I would do a six pack can of chicken from Sam's, and it's $14.98. The four pack from Walmart is $9.98. Now, I have a ton of my own canned chicken, but I did the math yesterday and with the inflation on chicken prices, it would be no longer feasible for me to can my own chicken other than the fact that I canned it myself and I know what's in there. But it is cheaper to buy it like that. I mean, I think it's only like 20 cents per pound more to buy it canned already than to can your own and you have to buy your jars. So if you don't already have jars on hand, then you're way over that price at this point. So. Think about that. Think about that. And I have a canning chicken video too. I did canned chicken. I think the audio on that one's pretty poor. I need to redo that one. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. Canning chicken, canning raw chicken is super easy. It is the easiest thing you will put in your pressure canner and I'm not even joking. Um, but if you don't choose to can your own, then buy it from Walmart or Sam's and it's really not that much more than the raw chicken sitting over there in the fridge. All right. so. At this point in our shopping trip, we have spent $87.21. And this is going off of the Sam's Club numbers because that's where I would probably buy most of this stuff if they had it. Um, 
So I decided to leave Sam's Club and head on over to the Walmart for the rest of our $12.79, okay? So, is it gonna be a handful of items that I feel like are super necessary? Because you'll see why. Number one, garlic powder. They have, they have the great value brand of seasonings there. I buy all my seasonings from Sam's Club in the large jars, but Walmart does have a really great section. Actually, it's in a huge bin in my Walmart. It's like one of those, um, I don't know, that's like in the middle aisle, and they have a huge bin, like how you would pick out the dollar candies or the movies, the $5 movies, um, and it's full of seasonings, and they just have a ton of different ones. So 98 cents garlic powder, Italian seasoning, onion powder and oregano. Those are all 98 cents. Um, I would get one of each of those. Again, this has to pertain to your taste. If you don't like those spices, then you're going to get something different. Okay. Um, the next one would be ground pepper. These are all going to be the great value brand. And that is 268. Um, next would be cinnamon. Yes. Cinnamon to add to your oatmeal or whatever it is that you're baking, whatever you would use cinnamon in dollar 18 for that cumin. Um, cumin is one of those things where not everyone likes cumin, but I have to have it for recipes um, Especially in like pork. It's it's a must and chili and things like that dollar 28 for that Two packs of taco seasoning taco seasoning is good in so many recipes other than tacos um, It adds flavor to a lot of your I put it in my chili um, I put it in if I'm making like fajita chicken. I don't really like the taste of the fajita seasoning and I don't like plain chicken. I like taco seasoning on that too. So two envelopes of that would be 88 cents. Three brown gravy envelopes are going to cost you 96 cents. And I thought 32 cents for an envelope of gravy. Is that for real? And I checked it yesterday and yes, it is. And I saw all the seasonings too. So like I said, I did some, some fact checking on this one and most of the stuff, I couldn't find the white gravy. That's the next one on my list. The country gravy is $1.12 and it looked online like it came in like a little canister. I might've just been in the wrong section. Um, but that was, that's my next one. The white gravy, the white gravy. So you're going to have a couple different gravies and you can add gravy mix to a lot of different things to give it a better flavor. Even if you're not making actual gravy, if you don't like gravy, Choose something else. It's not that expensive on our list, so you can choose whatever else you like. And the last thing that I have on my list, and some people are going to dislike me for this, but I think it's important to have Kool-Aid on hand. Now, why? Because sometimes a sweet treat is a morale booster in hard times. That rounds out my list. This is just in my opinion on what I think would be important. This came in at $99.99. I'm not even joking. So I kept it right at $100. Now, if you were gonna go shopping at Walmart and buying it in less bulk style, then it might cost you a little less. Um, but I like to have bulk foods stored up because that way I know I'm building that foundation, right? And I'm just gonna keep adding to it. And this is a foundation, it's a starting point. So that you can think about the things that are on this list and you can start saying, okay, well, this is what I can do with this. This is what I can do with that, right? And this is what I also wanna add on top of that. The most important thing when making your stockpile or your pantry look good is what is your family going to eat? So personalize it according to you and your family and you're gonna be good to go. But I think that if you agree with all of the things on this list, then I think it's a really good starting point, a really good place to start that stockpile. And I plan to make more videos like this because there's a lot of areas that we could go off of from here. You know, we could really expand on this a lot. So that's going to be it for me. And I hope that you got some value out of this video. I appreciate you for hanging in here with me for this long, if you're still here. And I just want to say, if you did like this content, uh, please subscribe. Please give me a like and leave a comment. And if you have questions or you have videos that you think that I should cover, let me know. Well, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you so much for being here. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.